infrastructural works in Providence Loda is just one aspect of a major road rehabilitation project in that area. During a recent town hall meeting in Wharton Waven, Public Works Minister Miriam Blanchard announced that work in Providence would begin soon. Then yesterday, a $1.6 million contract was signed to make that become a reality. The project is expected to reduce risks associated with landslide hazards in the Roseau Valley, thereby making the site and the surrounding communities less vulnerable to future adverse weather-related events. The project will comprise slope stabilization and realignment of 155 meters of road to include excavation of the cliff for the new road alignment, terracing and erosion control, construction of approximately 40 meters long reinforced concrete wall, reinstatement of road pavement and rigid concrete surface course with associated drainage and other miscellaneous works. Parliamentary representative for the area, Dr. John Colin McIntyre, says the road in the Providence area has been compromised for some time and it will involve a lot of work to have it rehabilitated. As you know, Providence, Loda slash Providence as a junction of the road going into Midland Falls, this major HP ladder, which is quite an involvement to be honest with you, is not a little undertaken. And I think the science involving it, the technology by our engineers and the consultants, I think they've arrived at something in terms of a design that we can move with right now. The rehabilitation works are expected to improve the road network in the Roseau Valley area where 80% of the tourists that come to Dominica visit. The infrastructural works in Providence area is part of a $7.4 million project which also includes rehabilitation works in the Layou area funded by a loan from the Caribbean Development Bank. Dominica-based Offshore Civil and Marine Inc. has been awarded the contract for the project. 